His, his body was put in a sack and then put in the boot of the Toyota NZE. Just like a well choreographed live performance, investigating officers read out a confession in court before Justice Jesse Lesit, giving a blow by blow detail of how human rights lawyer the late Willie Kimani, his client Joseph Atmwenda, and a taxi driver Joseph Thinguri were brutally strangled to death. The fifth accused person before court, Peter Ngugi Kamau, who was a border border ride in Kabete area, had recorded a statement with the DCI headquarters indicating four police officers, Senior Sergeant Frederick Leliman, Sergeant Leonard Mwangi, Corporal Stephen Chebulet, and Constable Sylvia Wanjohi for executing the heinous murder. The courtroom remained dead silent as DCI officer Geoffrey Kinyua read out Ngugi's confession statement. The lady showed me the alleged wanted man. He just told me, Kamutu yako dio huyo. This in reference to the late Joseph Mwenda, who was a wanted man by the then Mulolongo senior sergeant Frederick Leliman for allegedly filing a case with Independent Police Oversight Authority, IPOA, accusing the police officer of extrajudicial killings. Mwenda was represented by lawyer Willie Kimani in the case against Sergeant Leliman, which was heard at the Mavoko Law Courts. According to the statement, Ngugi was hired by Leliman to help in identifying Mwenda and trail him while giving regular updates to the officer of the victim's movement. The wanted man's car drove past senior sergeant Leliman's car. It had three occupants, including the driver. The killers then trailed the suspect for a few kilometers before staging a fake arrest. Just when we were about to, take, uh, to overtake them, we were driving parallel with them, Sergeant Mwangi drew his pocket phone and beckoned them to stop. The victims were then driven to Siokimau police while Ngugi drove off with their car to Gikambura area in Limuru where he abandoned it. I arrived in Murolongo just past five in the, in the afternoon and I found them senior Sergeant Lemai, Sergeant Mwangi, at the connections bar. By then, the three victims had been locked at the Siokimau police post, but after a few discussions, the officers picked their victims and drove off towards a thicket of Mlolongo town. We started to disagree on how to execute the victims. Myself and Sergeant Mwangi were of the view that, he had, that, that we had already been exposed the moment the victims were placed in custody and and we thought that the best thing was to release them. After hours of argument, he was struggled to death using a rope and a nylon paper. He was then removed from the boot of the Nissan wing road and placed on the ground. All the three victims were murdered in a similar version and their bodies bundled in a boot of a car and driven off to Old Onyo Sabuk where they were dumped into the river before the killers returned to Mlolongo, where they ate and drank to celebrate the success of their mission. For his efforts in identifying the target, Ngugi, who served as a police informer, was paid 2,000 shillings. A scene of crime officer is tomorrow expected to give a pictorial evidence of how the crime was executed. Dennis Matarake, 24, Evening Edition.